Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. We all have heard of those situations where a police officer pulls somebody over and just wants to write him a ticket. Wants to write him a ticket for something. <laughs> and quite often we hear about these little nitpicky tickets. A friend of mine got a ticket in high school. He'd gone skiing recently. And in Michigan, the places you go skiing at at that time would give you this little tag, little metal loop that would go through the zipper pull on your jacket. And then you'd, uh, it had a little piece of paper on it that indicated where you were skiing and the day you were skiing. And uh, when he got done, he pulled the tag off and hung it on his rear view mirror. And it was flipped around the back. So the only thing that was in his line of sight was a little tiny strip of the paper beneath the mirror. And a police officer pulled him over and lectured him about all kinds of stuff. And then ended by saying, but I got to give you a ticket for that obstructed view, that obstructed vision of yours while you're driving. My friend goes, for what? The guy goes, the tag on your mirror, it's blocking your vision. And it wasn't, but, you know, that's what you wrote him a ticket for. And so the question is, those kind of tickets, you know, are they righteous or not? Because it turns out that cops in New Jersey write 100,000 tickets a year for license plate frames. People got a license plate in the back of their car and they got the frame that indicates a sports team or a school or even a, a dealership where they bought the car. And a police officer pulls you over and gives you tickets. Says, yeah, your license plate is obscured. So New Jersey cops write 100,000 license plate frame tickets a year. 100,000. Knock it off, lawmakers say. From NJ.com, Larry Higgs wrote it. New Jersey drivers who bolt that frame around their license plate on their vehicle could get a break from annoying tickets if some bills proposed by two state lawmakers get passed. According to the state judiciary, which tracks these things, more than half a million summonses were issued in a five-year period between 2017 and 2021 for license plate violations. The most issued was 2019 with 127,000 issued. 127,680 license plate frame violations written in one year in New Jersey. Now, is there any indication of how annoying this is? Legislators from different parties proposed bills in both houses of the state legislature to relax the law, to make the law less difficult and easier for people to get by with if they want to put a frame around their license plate. Even the state Supreme Court in August ruled about the validity of two traffic stops made by police, the license plate violations that resulted in arrests for more serious charges. It also addressed strict enforcement and ticketing that had been the bane of drivers for years. So the police see someone driving down the road with a license plate frame. Ah, that's a reason to pull them over. You pull them over for that. If it leads to something else, great. If it doesn't, eh, just write them a ticket for the license plate frame. Countless frames cover a small fraction of New Jersey on the top of the plate or the bottom where it says Garden State. But the words can be easily identified. Now, that is not true if a frame instead covers the letters or numbers of the registration marks in the center of the plate, the Chief Justice wrote. So, to give you an example, <clears throat> My My TV, it's a replica of a Michigan plate. If the license plate frame is a typical one, it might cover part of the word Michigan and part of Great Lakes Splendor. But if you can read the My My TV, you can read that plate. And it's not like, oh, but I can't read the entire word Michigan. doesn't matter. If Garden State, New Jersey, or some other phrase is covered to the point that the phrase cannot be identified, or the plate numbers can't be read, the law would likewise apply. But if those phrases were just partly covered, yet still recognizable, there'd be no violation. A state senator uh, and state assemblyman refer to the thousands of summonses written for license plate violations as the main motivation for the proposed legislation to relax the law. Both bills would allow drivers to have a license plate frame that partially covers the words New Jersey and Garden State, but doesn't obscure those words so much they can't be read. And the point is that if the police can see enough of the word to understand that is a license plate, you're good. The actual numbers and letters of the license plate cannot be covered or obscured the center part of the plate, which is what's unique about the plate. Most of these citations were for frames covering a part of the license plate that did not prevent identification of the vehicle. These revised stipulations will allow for a significant decrease in unnecessary fines and reduce the number of New Jersey drivers being pulled over for this. 
The bills were called more in line with the reasonable and discernible standard the Supreme Court laid out, says the state policy director of the National Motorist Association. I thought it, that's the current law, was a bit too broad. I wasn't surprised that it got changed. A license plate frame related uh, traffic stop in April 2018 by a police officer ultimately cost Port Authority Commissioner Karen Z. Turner her post after she drove to the scene on Route 9W and started berating the officer. A video of the exchange went viral, prompting her resignation. And I remember watching that video. And a car gets pulled over. There's a bunch of people in it. The police are doing a traffic stop. And all of a sudden, another car pulls over. And a woman gets out and starts pulling the old, do you know who I am? And the officers are kind of like, yeah, you're somebody who's not involved in this traffic stop. <laughs> so, But that started, apparently, because of a license plate frame. The car that that woman's daughter was a passenger in bore a dealer-installed chrome bracket that proclaimed, Henderson, I am a VIP at Findlay Toyota, which partially covered the name of the state. But that vehicle did have an expired registration. And so I'm not exactly sure how that works in New Jersey. In Michigan, you get a little tag, and the tag is color-coded, and it's got the month on it. And so the police, they get behind your car and see your plate, can tell if your plate is current or not based on that. So I don't know if that was the case in that or not, but the frame apparently played a part in it. The state Senate bill, which was proposed in New Jersey, was amended and approved by the Senate Transportation Committee Monday and goes to the full Senate for a vote. The amendment prohibits the use of a license plate frame or holder if it obscures certain parts of the license plate but it permits their use if the name of the state or other identifying marks can be reasonably identified. A license plate frame also cannot obscure the expiration date of a temporary license plate under the bill. The assembly bill sponsored by someone else is waiting for a hearing by the Assembly Transportation and Independent Authorities Committee. Same guy there had proposed similar legislation in 2018, but that only addressed license plate frames that were installed by car dealers, which usually advertise the dealership. Uh, Both lawmakers said it will spare drivers from wasting time and money on summonses and disputing them. And, you know, this is surprising. If there were 100,000 license plate frame violations being written every single year in New Jersey, you would think that the dealerships would know that and stop putting their frames on people's cars. Because if I bought a car and they stuck a frame on it, I'm driving down the road and I get pulled over and a cop goes, you're getting a ticket because that frame's on your car. I'd kind of hold that against the dealership. I understand I'd be getting the ticket, but that's why I'd be upset because someone else put the frame on the car. And no, I don't have license plate frames in any of my cars right now. Both lawmakers said it will spare drivers from wasting time and money on summonses and disputing these tickets. This bill will help prevent thousands of drivers from being pulled over for minor license plate frame violations, he said in a statement. New Jersey drivers should not have to spend time and money seeking recourse through the court system. As long as pertinent letters and numbers are recognizable on a plate, a person should be free from unwarranted interactions with the police. And as a lot of people figure out, there's still a lot of gray areas in a lot of this. And I mean, I've seen someone driving down the road where their plate was covered in mud. There's just mud covering their plate. And I've seen people driving down the road with a plate that is difficult to read for some other reason. I remember actually seeing a car in traffic the other day where it looked like somebody had sandblasted their license plate. All the paint was missing from the license plate. But you could, t- you could see it was a Michigan license plate. It was literally just missing all of the surface covering. What happened? I don't know. It was in the back of the car. Um, maybe they lived on a road and they went down it really fast and the sand would whip up. And I, I don't know. But, of course, if you've got a license plate frame on your car and the officer says that it obstructs something, they can still give you a ticket. Of course, when you go to court and you fight it and get it thrown out. And that, again, is part of the problem with a lot of these things because you still waste your time in court. And some people will just pay a ticket just to avoid having to go to court, especially if there's no points associated with it. So I hope that if they pass this law, it gets the police to say, okay, fine, we're going to stop giving people tickets for that. And maybe they will write, you know... Fewer tickets, they won't write 100,000 license plate frame violation tickets a year. 
But then the question is, what do they go with next? <laughs> I am convinced, I am convinced that the police can always find some pretext to pull you over. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just simply saying that they often do. And we've heard these crazy stories about, well, you know, the person was driving below the speed limit. We thought that was suspicious. I saw a story on that yesterday. Someone got a ticket for driving below the speed limit. At least that's why they got pulled over in the first place. They got pulled over for that, and that resulted in something else. And you, you, you often find this as part of every story that everyone focuses on what happened. You know, the police find a bunch of stuff in the car. And you back up, why'd you pull over in the first place? And I've done stories where it's unclear why they pulled somebody over in the first place. I said, like, why did they pull them over? You know, so I'm sure they'll come up with something. Your, your license plate light was dim. From the angle, I thought, it must be out. But now that I see it up close, I realize it's on. Oh, well, I got you to the side of the road. Driver's license and registration, please. So this is good news, I believe, for people of New Jersey. Won't help the half a million people who got the tickets in the last five years. But Phil, Lewis, David, Vinny, Michael, and Trocon all sent this. Thank you very much, people. New Jersey cops write 100,000 license plate frame tickets a year, but that could change coming up soon because of lawmakers changing the rules. Uh, NJ.com published it, and Larry Higgs wrote it. Thanks a lot. Questions or comments, put them below. Let's talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Does not compute. Does not compute.